Have you ever wondered what it takes to find your other half if you're not traditionally handsome? In a society where physical attractiveness often takes center stage, especially in the context of dating and relationships, it's an important question to ponder. It's no secret that we live in a world where the spotlight is often focused on looks. We see it everywhere. From the billboards we pass on our daily commutes to the glossy pages of magazines, and even within the digital landscapes of social media platforms. This emphasis on physical appearance can sometimes make it seem like the key to finding love or companionship lies solely in how traditionally good-looking one might be. But let's take a step back and delve a little deeper. What about the beauty that lies beneath the surface? The kind that doesn't fade with time or change with the latest fashion trends? Yes, we're talking about the qualities that make up who you are as a person, your personality, character, and the interests that light your passion. Think about it. When you look back on the most meaningful relationships in your life, what stands out? Is it the exact shade of their eyes or the shape of their face? Or is it the shared laughter, the mutual respect, the comfort of knowing you can be your true self with them? Physical attractiveness might catch the eye, but it's the connection that truly captivates the heart. It's about finding someone who understands your jokes, shares your dreams, and supports you during the ups and downs of life. It's about shared experiences, emotional intimacy, and a bond that goes beyond the superficial. So it seems that beauty, real beauty, isn't just skin deep. It's about more than just having the right features in the right places. It's about who you are, what you stand for, and how you relate to others. So, if physical attractiveness isn't the be-all and end-all, what factors actually contribute to a successful relationship? Stay tuned as we dive into the power of humor, the importance of kindness, and the magic of shared passions in the scenes to come. Let's take a look at the first example, where humor played a key role in winning hearts. Consider the story of Jim and Lisa. Jim was not what society would typically label as handsome. He had a rather ordinary face, with an unimpressive physique, but he had something that was far more captivating than any physical feature, a sense of humor that could brighten up even the gloomiest of days. Lisa, on the other hand, was an attractive woman who had had her fair share of suitors, but it was Jim's wit and humor that caught her attention. He could effortlessly make her laugh, and she found herself drawn to his radiant personality. The two met at a common friend's party. Jim, with his quick wit and clever one-liners, was the life of the party, he didn't have the chiseled jawline or the six-pack abs that others at the party had, but he had something they didn't, an ability to spread joy and laughter. Lisa was instantly smitten. Their relationship blossomed from there. They shared countless moments of laughter and joy, their bond deepening with each passing day. Lisa found that she was not just in love with Jim's humor, but also his kindness, his intelligence, and his zest for life. It was Jim's humor that first drew Lisa to him, but it was his personality that made her stay. Their story is a testament to the fact that looks aren't everything. Humor, wit, and a sparkling personality can be far more attractive than any physical attribute. In a world that often places undue emphasis on physical appearances, their story serves as a reminder that beauty truly is more than skin deep. A good sense of humor can be a powerful tool in any relationship, helping to create a strong emotional connection and fostering a sense of camaraderie and mutual respect. So remember, while physical attraction does play a role in relationships, it's often the intangible qualities like humor, kindness, and shared interests that create lasting bonds. This story shows that a sparkling personality can indeed outshine physical looks. Next up, we have an example that demonstrates the undeniable allure of kindness. This is the tale of a couple. Let's call them Anna and Tim. Anna, a woman who was always surrounded by traditionally handsome men, never quite found what she was looking for. Then she met Tim. Tim wasn't a supermodel, he didn't have the chiseled jawline or the heart-stopping smile that you see in magazines, but what Tim had was a heart full of kindness and a spirit of compassion that was simply magnetic. It was his kindness that made him stand out from the crowd, and it was his compassion that made Anna fall head over heels for him. One day, Anna found a kitten on her porch, abandoned and cold. She took it in but didn't know how to care for it. Tim, without a second thought, helped her nurse the kitten back to health. He stayed up nights, feeding it, comforting it, showing it love. That's when Anna realized that Tim's kindness was his most handsome feature. As their relationship grew, so did their bond. Tim's kindness didn't stop with the kitten. It extended to his friends, his family, and to Anna. He was always there to lend a helping hand, to offer a shoulder to lean on, to be a beacon of support. He was the kind of person who would give you his last slice of pizza, 
or stay up all night just to make sure you were okay. And that's what made Anna fall in love with Tim. It wasn't his looks, but his kindness, his compassion, and his unwavering love that drew her in. Anna found that the connection she had with Tim, a connection built on kindness, was far deeper and far more rewarding than anything she had ever experienced. As we see, kindness can pave the way to the heart, proving that good looks aren't the only thing that matter. Our final example is a couple who found mutual understanding and connection through shared interests. Meet Josh and Lisa. Josh, by traditional standards of beauty, may not have been the first choice for many, but Lisa saw something in him that was far more significant than his physical appearance. What sparked their connection wasn't a six-pack or a chiseled jawline, but a shared passion for art and culture. Lisa was a fervent art enthusiast, while Josh was an aspiring painter. Their paths crossed at a local art exhibition where Josh was showcasing his work. Lisa was drawn to his paintings, which beautifully captured the essence of human emotions. When she met the artist behind the masterpieces, she was intrigued by his insightful perspective on art and life. Their shared love for art became the cornerstone of their relationship. They spent countless hours visiting art galleries, discussing various art forms and even painting together. Their common interests allowed them to connect on a deeper level, fostering mutual understanding and respect. Now you might wonder, could Josh's talent be the reason Lisa was attracted to him? The answer is, not entirely. While Lisa admired Josh's artistic skills, it was his passion and dedication that truly captivated her. She loved how his eyes lit up when he talked about his art and how he would lose track of time when he was painting. Josh's passion for art was contagious, and Lisa found herself drawn to his enthusiasm. In turn, Josh was captivated by Lisa's knowledge and appreciation for art. Her insights and perspectives helped him view his work in a new light, fueling his creativity. Their shared interest in art not only brought them together, but also kept their relationship vibrant and exciting. So what can we learn from Josh and Lisa's story? It's simple. When we share common passions and interests with someone, it allows us to connect with them on a deeper level. It transcends physical attractiveness and focuses on emotional and intellectual compatibility. This story reaffirms the idea that shared passions can bring people together regardless of their physical appearance. So, what can we learn from these stories? We've traveled through tales of humor, kindness, and shared passions, and it's clear that these are the elements that truly make a difference in our relationships. Let's take a moment to reflect on what we've learned. Our first story emphasized the power of humor. A good laugh can break the ice, lighten the mood, and bring people together. Humor is a universal language capable of crossing boundaries and forming connections. It's not about having a chiseled jawline or the perfect physique. It's about making someone smile, laugh, and feel at ease. It's about sparking joy in another person's life. Next, we explored the profound impact of kindness. It's a simple yet potent tool in forming meaningful relationships. Kindness can be as simple as a warm smile, a thoughtful gesture, or a sympathetic ear. It's about showing respect, understanding, and empathy. Kindness doesn't require a handsome face or a stunning body, it only requires a generous heart. Then we delved into the world of shared passions. Having common interests, hobbies, or passions can create a strong bond between two people. It's about sharing experiences, learning together, and growing as a team. It's about finding someone who shares your excitement, your curiosity, and your zest for life. Again, it's not about physical appearance, but about shared experiences and mutual understanding. In each of these stories, we see that it's not just about what's on the outside. It's about what's on the inside. It's about who you are as a person, your character, your values, and your actions. It's about the laughter you bring, the kindness you show, and the passions you share. Remember, when it comes to love, it's what's on the inside that truly counts. So, don't get hung up on looks. Instead, focus on being the best version of yourself and the right person will surely come along.